Hey uh, folks, so I got something in the mail today. Can't tell by the markings, it is from wonderful J.A. Penn. Uh, but I decided, you know, hey, let's try something new. And I saw the prices of uh, a few different consoles on Japan for you. Decided to splurge and, you know, see what the hell happens. So let's get this bad boy cracked open. Uh, there are quite a few consoles in here. I'm actually genuinely surprised at how small the box is for what I ordered. Uh, but I'm not going to be breaking into all of these today. Just three of them in particular. These three. But I'll uh, I'll show you what I got just for just for fun. Yeah, that's it. okay. Bring that down a bit. So, here, I kind of surprised when I saw this listed, and especially for how much, but it looks like J4U is branching out a little bit, which is completely fine with me. Um, but I'm not going to get into this too much today, mostly because I don't have all the parts I need to properly troubleshoot it, including a charging cable. just want to see if it came with anything good. And indeed, it does not turn on. Ooh! Bonus! Hell yeah! This memory card, assuming it works, costs as much as I paid for this freaking Vita. I if I can fix that. Ooh, that is exciting! You saw it here first. <laughs> anyway, uh, also got these two bad boys. Neither of them work. I have no idea why. And these are the very first two DMGs that I've ever owned. Ever. Um, this gray one has an obvious issue with the screen, but you guys know me. I like to install backlight kits, so that's why I bought this one. But... I was drawn to this one in particular because it was $9. It's super clean. Uh, aside from a little bit of corrosion in the battery compartment. So it probably works fine. It just needs a new screen. Uh, for those that are unaware, those little black pixels, that's commonly referred to as screen cancer. And it usually means that your screen is dead and done for. And I thought this lens was all scratched up, but it looks like it's a new lens. That or I'm just scratching it up with my fingernail, which shouldn't be possible. Oh yeah. Look at that, how lucky do you... Oh man, that's beautiful. So I'm guessing this thing had no lens. And that's how the screen got damaged, and then the person who used to own it decided to pop in a new lens and uh, go that route. But this is an older unit. It has the Phillips screws. At least that's what I gather. So I'll see how well it mods. See if I can even fix it. But again, another video, another time. Put it off to the side. This one I paid a little bit more for. Also some corrosion. And this one's actually a little bit worse. But, I don't know. I like the color. I think it's pretty cool. Should clean up. Hopefully. Oop. Well, shit. That's gone. Whatever. I'll find it later. This one's in much better shape. I might just leave it as is instead of modding it. Granted, after I clean it up. But, you know. Okay. Enough getting sidetracked. Here is the main attraction. The purpose of this video. I bought three 3DS consoles. And between these three consoles, I only spent like 50 bucks. So if I can get one of them working, I think we'll be good to go. Uh, one of them I know for a fact I can fix. I bought it kind of as a uh, insurance policy, just in case I couldn't fix the other two. Uh, but that is probably this one. Uh, 
should work, should boot up. Maybe. Is the light on? Worked in the pictures. Got a two gig card. So there it goes, it booted up. Everything should work. Uh, only problem is the top screen is cracked. It's actually on, it's really hard to see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. But, yeah, this one should just need a new screen. And it was like 20 bucks, so what the hell, you know? Um, oh, and I can't check what firmware it's on. Cool. Okay, whatever. Good enough. All right, next up, these two both have the same issue. They should both be in physically good shape, or decent shape, uh, but neither of them will boot. I'm gonna come to this one later because I think I know exactly what the issue is. So I'm gonna start with this one, because this one will be, this one will be, should be more fun. So first off, it does not seem to do anything. Doesn't even boot. Let's try giving it a charge. I got here my wonderful contraption. My homemade power supply. I set it to 4.6 volts. These things should charge fine on 5 volts, but what the hell. Let's play it safe. And nothing. I'm pretty sure it's still connected. Yeah. Let's try a dock. Still nothing. Okay. Well, I don't know what that means because I don't... I've never had to fix a broken 3DS before. But, I'm going to go out on a limb here. We'll try the battery first. Second guess, if it's not the battery, it could just be a blown fuse in combination with a dead battery that needs to be charged. That's odd. Um, battery itself looks physically fine. Looks a little bit uh, bulged, actually. Oops. Throwing shit everywhere. But the battery itself is completely fucking dead. Yeah. So that's probably why it doesn't work. I have here another battery. And, and, does this thing have an SD card too? No, it doesn't. And, ah, yeah. Hey, like that, this thing was uh, 16 bucks. And it is on version 7.1.04, which doesn't really matter because they're all exploitable now. But, ta-da. Let's see if it charges. So it does not, oh, wait. Okay, so it does, depending on how you hold the cord. So maybe broken charge port? Let's try the dock. That doesn't seem to work either. The dock does work. It charges this one. Let's just make sure it's not some weird alignment thing. So yeah, that first 3DS just needs a new screen. I'll probably do a video on that one when that arrives. But I ordered that. I ordered this stuff a week ago. I did not expect it here so soon. Yeah, now it's charging. It was just an alignment thing. So, okay. All this one needed was a battery. Cool. <laughs> and this black one, there we go. Alright, last but not least, I bought this one 
because I actually have this. This is a uh, aftermarket shell uh, on a US 3DS, and if you guys aren't aware, um, Nintendo of America never actually released the US model original 3DS in this color. I found out a while back that there are actually aftermarket shells available for this thing, and I decided to give it a shot. This thing started life as a purple 3DS, and it was just totally fucked up. It needed a new shell. It was beyond salvaging. Uh, so, tried out this white one. Anyway, I saw J4U had a bunch of 3DSs, and couldn't help but give this one a shot, because if I can't get this fixed, I can shell swap this one, and instead of having to deal with aftermarket, I got an OEM shell. So it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. But my concern, looking at this one from the pictures, uh, I'm thinking this one just has a charging issue as well, because the port itself is physically damaged. You, there should be a little black plastic piece between the two pins, and some metal shrouding around it. So, I'm not even going to try plugging it in. I know it's not going to work. Let's see if it docks. It looks like it wants to, so maybe this one has a dead battery as well. But it's charging. It's charging slowly, and the light is on. So, maybe we got something? Nothing yet. I don't know. I'm going to leave this for a little bit. Come back. I'll be back in a moment. While that's going, just going to give a quick interlude. I looked down at this PS Vita and noticed something I hadn't noticed before. There's a light on. Uh, I don't know what that means. I've never had a uh, original OLED model. I'm guessing it means it's on, but the screen's busted. Or something. I don't know. If anyone has any advice for troubleshooting this thing. I'm all ears. Otherwise I'm just gonna try when I get it, plug it and charge it, see what happens. See, now it's blinky. So as far as I can tell, it does boot up. We just have nothing on the screen. The screen itself doesn't look broken. Maybe someone took this apart and uh, just didn't plug that back in or something. I don't know. And of course Sony had to use... What's what's it with Sony and their proprietary bullshit? Like, why did they gotta have this proprietary cable, this proprietary memory card? Like, come on, no one likes that. This is why your console failed, Sony. Not because it was a bad console, but because no one wanted to buy all these accessories just to plug the damn thing in. Okay, rant over. I'll, I'll play with this later. I'll probably do a video on this one, too. Oh, hey! Just in time. This thing is making an awful high pitch sound. I don't know... It's probably bad. But I also just noticed it's coming up to a full charging, and holy shit did my voltage drop. Let's, uh... Let's bump that up. Probably gonna break something doing this. Okay, never mind. This thing does not play well with the voltages that 3DS needs. So, let's use a power bank instead. Or not. If that's on, that's charging. Okay. So, let's see if it works. Still nothing. Okay, I'm gonna let it charge a little bit more. Real quick, just out of curiosity, there's no SD card. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so this has been charging for a little while. Well, like three minutes. I'm not that patient. Um, but at this point, it's still not turning on. So either this battery is like mega fucked, or there's something else going on with this system. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking it apart and see what's going on. Also, I was playing with that Vita, 
and uh, when I pulled out that memory card, this one right here, uh, it made the little eject noise, so I know for a fact that the system itself is booting just fine, and there's an issue with the screen now. I won't know specifically what that issue is until I either get it apart or get a new screen or something, but... Hey, one step closer. All right, so this battery is not bulging out or anything. Let's see. How charged or discharged it is. Okay, so this is at about 3.6 volts. So it should be enough to boot the console. It's not dead. But still nothing. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to have to take this one apart. Well, that's kind of actually, that's the opposite of what I figured would happen. Uh, I'm going to put it back together and let it charge for a bit. Maybe it'll magically fix itself. But also, I don't have the time at the moment to take this apart and really delve into it. So, I think I'll save this for when I put the screen in that other console. Yeah. I'll just let it charge for a bit. Maybe, maybe it'll kick back to life. Um, in the meantime... I might work on this. Of course, I just said I don't have the time to take apart a console. And look what I'm doing. But, no, I mean, this thing is going to be a mess inside. I have a feeling this is something someone else tried to work on before it got to me. want to mess with that. All right. Oh, I forgot to check in here. What's in here? Oh, this is the SIM card tray. Because this is a 3G Vita. Turn it off. I'm guessing we got to take out those screws too. Oh, and those two. Okay. these the same screws? I hope so. Yes. That makes my life so much easier. Okay. Now for those of you who have done this before, you're probably sitting there watching me do this entirely wrong and uh, whatever I don't apologize I'd rather just jump into it it's way more fun that way okay so there's that ribbon cable there, and I'm guessing that's for the bat teddy. Does it come up or out? If I 
fucking neither, apparently. Okay, that's probably not the recommended way to remove that. But it's okay. So... I don't see the screen ribbon unless it's much smaller than I'm expecting. Probably on the front here. And this is quite a bit more complicated than I expected. <clears throat> As in, there are screws everywhere, and they're all color coded. That's, or I think they are blue, 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 pink, pink. That's kind of neat. I wonder if these two are like shorter so you don't crack the screen or something. So, yeah, I think I'll leave this for another time as well. I'm not really feeling, feeling like I could take it apart and put it back together without totally fucking something up. So I'll leave this for another time as well. Maybe another video. I guess, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, let's try the 3DS one more time for shits and giggles. Yeah, nothing. Alright, well, I guess I will play with these another time. Gotta finish taking this apart or put it back together or do something with it. But kind of want to get it going because a uh, $50 OLED 3G Vita is something that interests me, especially because it came with that memory card and 16 gigabyte card. I don't know if you guys pay attention to the memory card prices for PS Vitas, but they are not the cheapest. So I lucked out on that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good night, guys.